So Walgreens is already closing 150 locations and unfortunately I think they're going to end up closing more and I'll tell you why. So today I went to go get some uh, snacks at Walgreens. It is my W day. Did not have a good time at my W day. You guys saw the previous vlog that I did. It was spend 20, get back 10. Well, apparently dairy is excluded from that. I got the Edie's ice cream and you know, I didn't get my $10 because of this called customer service. They said, no, it's included in the coupon and it's in very, 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 very fine print. I said, okay, you know what? Fine, whatever. I'm just gonna, cause we already started eating the ice cream. I'll keep this, but everything else is going back to the store tomorrow, right? And also the old El Paso, I do like it, but I can also get these at a cheaper price. And I have a bunch of rebates on my other apps for this too, elsewhere. The Mike and Ike's are $2.79, could get these for a dollar at Walmart. So these are definitely going back. But here's where the real kicker is, right? I was having a problem with Walgreens, not today. Today I would have just said, you know what? It's unfortunate my couponing didn't go the way I wanted it to because sometimes coupon deals don't go the way that you want them to. But here's the real kicker. About two weeks ago I had called Walgreens because they sent me an email for a spend $1, get $10 in Walgreens cash. I said, of course this is a steal, I'm gonna do it, right? I called, I called five times. This is how problematic this situation was. They're like, no, because we can't see emails that were sent to you. You got to email this Walgreens email. By the way, anytime I've ever emailed that Walgreens email, I have never gotten a response, okay? And it's I would give Walgreens customer service like a 7 out of 10, but that day, I have to give them a 5 out of 10. It is so unfortunate that I had to call five times for us to figure out what was going on. Finally... When I spoke to the gentleman, he was like, oh, it turns out that, you know, you have another account linked to this same email. Not sure how that's possible, but he read to me um, the last four digits of the number. And I'm like, I haven't had that number since I was a teenager. Long story short, he was able to close down that account. And I'm glad that he did because I'm not even using it. And I was finally able to get a resolution to the problem, but bad customer service really irks me like it really irritates me that i called all these times and nobody could tell me i had two accounts on one email one that was from so long ago i used to tell people call me after nine o'clock when my minutes are free like people stop shopping places when they get bad customer service i'm not gonna stop going to walgreens but I mean, you guys have been 